new Guilty Gear video out. So as you know, your fight night Friday, Guilty Gear correspondent, the one with no knowledge about Guilty, I'm playing with you. No, new video out for Zato 1, the starter guy for Guilty Gear Strive. I'm going to be hitting up, you know, calling down command grabs, command grabs, and watch my last video if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I'm on the case. Now, I know I missed the Amelia video. I'm going to do one on that. That should come out later. But since the Zato 1 came out today, I want to just kind of get on top of that and grab that while it's out. Um, so we're going to just switch scenes really quick. I don't even want to make the, I don't even waste no time. I told you in my last video that Zato looked nice like i like this little redesign i like the direction that they are going with him and i'm interested in to seeing you know what kind of what kind of new funky stuff he has zato is a technically challenging character as you can also control his alter ego eddie Overwhelm the opponent by attacking with both Zato and Eddie. Flight. Zato moves quickly in the inputted direction. During this motion, he can move freely in midair to an extent, meaning you can change the timing of your jump and attack and take the opponent by surprise. Okay, that's not new. Summon Eddie. Zato summons his alter ego, Eddie. You can control Eddie and Zato simultaneously. That's a different Eddie direction. Eddie has a different then... attack associated with each attack button. While Eddie is active, you can return him to the shadows by inputting the summon command a second time. That's a different direction. When either Zato or Eddie Red takes two. damage, or the Eddie life gauge hits zero, Eddie disappears and cannot be summoned. Pierce. Zato summons Eddie and attacks twice while lunging forward. Okay. Due to its fast startup and long range, this move works well as both a means to keep your opponent locked down I like and that. as a poke. That's a lot. Zato summons Eddie forming a large number of drills. Ooh. As it hits multiple times, this attack keeps the opponent locked down for a long time on either block or hit. I wonder if he still has like Use the single drills. Advantage to get your offense started. Leap. Zato summons Eddie, performing an attack that hits twice, leaping upwards. This attack really hits like a that. wide area and works well against airborne opponents. I really like that. The we got some people in our community that do a lot of jumping. It easy to land a combo That's a good answer for that. Mid -range. Oppose. Zato summons Eddie, performing a multi-hit attack is my with slow startup. Eddie can absorb the opponent's attacks until this move comes out. That was my favorite move from that last video that I that I did. That was my favorite Zato move. Let me go back. What is it called? Oppose? Yeah, that that's that 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 move hot right there. Multi-hit attack hey, hey. with slow startup. Eddie can absorb the opponent's attacks hey, hey. until this move comes out. Eddie won't disappear when Ooh. hit during this move. Meaning you can use him as a shield. Did I hear that correctly? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eddie won't disappear when hit during this move. Meaning you can use him as a shield. Bruh, I However, just said be careful as he you needs to absorb hits. the opponent's overdrive attacks. Oh, he got that green beam. Hell. Sato forms a drill at a distance from himself. Okay, so he still has it. It's this just attack different. knocks the opponent down on hit. It has little recovery, making it a good choice as a poke at mid-range. Break the law. Zato conceals himself in the shadows with this evasive technique. You can stay hidden for a set amount of time by holding down the button. But the recovery when Zato reappears increases the longer you hide. While hidden, Zato can move left and right in an invincible state, and can even move to the other side of the opponent. Bruh. Damned Fang. A command grab. It deals more damage than a standard throw, and cannot be teched. So it looks like when it he was you in wide open when with that so Alex Mack when you mode, think the opponent is focused on staying grounded and blocking. He was buffering moves shade, already. An attack that can reflect the opponent's projectiles. Okay, that's not new. When used in proximity to Eddie, he can be moved far away in Ooh. an instant. Use this chance to team up Boy. with Eddie and start your offense. Amorphous. Shadows approach the opponent and consume them in this powerful projectile move. The attack extends that quite high sexy. up, Look making this. it extremely difficult for the opponent to oh, jump over Oh, that animation is sexy. Eddie transforms into a sword, attacking the opponent as a powerful projectile. If used while Eddie is summoned, he turns into a projectile and attacks from his current position. He flies oh. towards the position of the opponent <laughs> when the move was used. After the attack, he returns to his usual form as Eddie, so take this chance to overwhelm the opponent. 
That is huge! You can launch a highly adaptable offense by coordinating Zato's movements with Eddie. Use Pierce as Look a at this against projectile peacock and leap against aerial opponents. A pose works well against opponents when this they try to attack projectile Eddie. parade. Look at this damn thing. When you can't summon Eddie, use flight or invite hell to protect yourself from the opponent's attacks. Thank you for watching. All right, let's recap a little bit. So here's here <laughs> here's some here's the here's the stuff that I like the the things that stand out to me. Sato summons Eddie, performing a multi hit attack. This is a highlight. This is. I'm a. Eddie can absorb I'm gonna abuse this shit. But this move comes out. Eddie won't disappear you thought it was when sweet. hit during this move. Hold on. Talk about. Talk about. Talk about. Eddie was armored, but did it look like Zato was armored? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Bruh. 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 I was just saying in the last video, if Eddie could take two hits, yo, Arxis, please let Eddie take two hits. That could put that could put Zato over the edge. That could get him over that hump he had in Rev 2. Lord have mercy. So that's a standout for me. Um, the other move that's a standout. The animation on this super. This is just an honorable mention. The Morphous. Shadows approach the opponent and consume them in this powerful <laughs> projectile move. That that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Now, this and y'all. Y'all Zato mains, y'all correct me or not. I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just a lowly peasant. I don't know this. Here's the thing. With that second super that he had. Position of the opponent when the move was used. After the, the attack, fact that it's Eddie and it doesn't cover you. As Eddie, that is sick. Projectile. That is sick. If used while Eddie is summoned, he turns into a projectile and attacks from his current position. He flies that towards right there the is gonna be nasty. The opponent when and I know you got to, the situation got to present itself, but man the mix-ups can be crazy let me let me see this is it this right here look at this eddie's behind you get that uh i, I want to see a lot of that yeah but all in all man i think this is a pretty i think yo these characters look nice these characters are looking nice and i like these changes that they are doing to these to to zato especially because He's a character that I've been eyeballing in Rev 2 that I want to kind of get to know better in this state of, in this in this Strive state. So don't forget the open beta for PS is on February 17th and 18th. If you follow me on twitch.tv slash Final Boss Versus, I'm going to be streaming it on Wednesday night. Uh, just trying to learn some of these characters and some of these moves. I already said, listen, I already said that I was going to be a Giovanna main and a uh, 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 Nagori main, but I know y'all seen that that down animation for Giovanna. We look, 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 look. This is not the time, no place. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna get out of here. So I hope y'all appreciate the video. We'll be back with more content. Just look for us whenever we ping you. Make sure you like, follow, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I'm messing up on. Tell me what I got wrong. Tell me everything I don't know because even bad engagement, even the dislikes is engagement. We love you. We appreciate you. We out of here. Peace. Why the hell did I hold up the number four? <laughs>